Hi, this is Tracy from Mindless Crafting, and today we're going to be making an adorable picket fence card. I know there's different names for it, but you're going to really love the way this turned out and how easy it is to make. So let's get started. So for your base, I'm just using a white base here, and I can decorate it whatever color I want. You can use whatever you want for your card base. Um, this uh, card base is four and a quarter and unfolded it's seven and a half okay so you need to have that four and a quarter by seven and a half and then you're going to have this you're going to score it here and fold this down so this will be two inches okay so that little space right there will be two inches you're also going to need five of these paper strips okay so the paper strips are one inch by four and a quarter because we want this to form our picket fence so i'm not sure if you can see that really good on here but i'm going to be um, distressing the edge of this so you'll see it in a moment so we want this to be wide enough so that when we do make our picket fence it's going to go all the way up to the edge so that's why you want that to be four and a quarter and all of them are just one inch then we have these cuties right here. This is from our newest stamp set, Plant Kindness. And so those are available in our store right now. And this is our newest one. Look how adorable that is. So I'm using this image right here. And I already colored it in with my um, alcohol markers. But look how pretty those turned out. So we also have this set in a digital in digital format as well and then here is the sentiment which i'm going to cut out and look at the butterflies the butterflies are not from this set the butterflies are actually from our spread your wings stamp set which is super adorable so i'm using a, a lot more of my smaller um, images or stamps to enhance my card making and then we got some cute colors here that we're going to decorate the top with. So you can like really do a whole lot with these. But the first thing we want to do is distress some of our the edges. Okay, we want to distress those. But before we do that, I almost forgot, we're going to be cutting these so that it looks like a picket fence. So all I did, super easy, I just eyeballed it. To make the top of the fence, I wanted to have that, that look. So you're gonna need um, three of these. And so all I did, I didn't do a whole measuring thing. I just cut the edges off. And so you got the top of the picket fence like that. So if you want it pointed, you know, just do a pointed um, cut on that. But I thought these, these still look really good. And so we're going to go ahead and distress these. We're going to move everything out the way here. And the distressing just adds a little bit of a kind of an old feel to the fence. And I thought that would be a good idea. This is not my original idea. Um, the credit goes to Paul Ford. His channel is amazing. I love his creative style. And I just happened to find him on YouTube and I will link um, his information in the description box. Okay, so all you're gonna do with this is you're going to go ahead and just distress the edges. And you see how that looks when you do that? Especially on the white. I thought this was a great idea. So thanks Paul for doing this. Um, for the inspiration your channel is absolutely amazing and I just wanted to say that <laughs> so you see how this is you're going to distress all of this so I won't sit here and do like all of them in front of you but at least so you can kind of see and I'm using the um, Vintage Photo Distress Ink, which is one of my favorites from Tim Holtz. I love that Distress Ink. I'm even gonna distress this as well. So it just adds to it. And this isn't 
uh, this is a fall paper um, that I had in my stash. I remember it from a, uh, one of our fall kits had this in it uh, from last year. And this just happens to be a piece that was laying around. I just cut it down to size. So I just wanted it to be a little bit shorter, maybe a quarter of an inch shorter, an eighth of an inch shorter than this four and a half by two. sorry four and a quarter <laughs> by two inches so I just wanted to make sure that that was um, would just fit and have a little bit of a border on it and then if what you want what you also can do is you can take this and distress around the edges of your card to just give it a little bit more detail on it So basically distress everything that has an uh, edge on it, right? <laughs> and see how that just adds something to it? So if you kind of like, oh, well, I only have the plain white cardstock, you can distress the edges. Look at that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and distress the rest of these and we'll come back and start putting our card together. Okay, and just to keep the process going, I'm going to go ahead and trace around this. I do like to make a bubble-like, um, you'll see in a moment, almost like a cloud around my sentiments. I don't know, I've been addicted to this lately. <laughs> Okay, and then just cut it out. Let me add a little bit of color around that. A little bit of green. Just to tie in the colors with this. I could even use the rust color if I wanted to, to go around that. And then I'll go ahead and cut that out. Okay, so now that everything is cut out, now we can put everything together. Now, I did do an inside piece off camera to go in here. All right, just to give it a little bit more style. And so that's just another thing that you can do for the inside part of your card. So we won't glue that in yet. Let me show you what we're going to do. Before you even put these on for your fence, you need to lay this piece on first. So this is the first thing that you'll do is get this. So let me grab my favorite glue, Art Glitter Glue. And of course, it doesn't want to um, work right now, it wants to be, <laughs> and I ran this under hot water earlier to unclog it, but that's okay. I think that should do it. Only when you're recording. There we go. All right. And so we're just gonna sit right there, leave that little edge. Okay, so now that you have it like that, Make sure my glue is working okay. And I'll probably have to, after this recording, I'll have to run it under some water again, a little bit longer. <laughs> okay, so on this area here, now you're going to put down your picket fence, right? And so you want this to go down first. I'm going to do the sides first because we're going to use three of these. And I want it to be just a little bit away from the edge. I don't want it to be like here. To me, it adds a little bit of something when you have it here. And you want to line it up with the bottom part here. So about a half an inch from the side here would be great. Okay, so all I do is I'm just taking this, putting a little bit of glue there, holding it in place for a moment without it sliding like it just did. <laughs> okay, and then I'm gonna do the other side also. Just about a half inch 
Yeah, right there. And then I can center it, the other little piece, which would be great. Okay. So I moved it just a little bit, so just try to hold on to it. Now, if you have masking tape, you can you can do the masking tape and stuff like that to hold it in place. Okay, and look at that. You just want to make you just want to make sure it lines up on that bottom part. Okay, and now we're going to put our last piece in here, and I'm just eyeballing it. Just is a handmade card, so it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just holding it in place with my finger and then just let it lay down for a little bit. And look at that. It's already coming into place. And now you're going to take two of these. And you can place them wherever you want if you want it to be. I want it to be a little bit away from the bottom there right and then a little bit like maybe right here that looks r about right to me okay i'm just gonna lay this down oh my glue is working fabulously now all right and then just line up the edges and look how that distress look looks really good. And then this one here. And press that down. Just bring it down just a little bit. Look how adorable that is. Oh my goodness, look at that. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and add our other pieces on. Okay, so let's go ahead and put our plant life on here. And put these both close together there. If you wanna spread them out like that, you can. I kinda like them off to the side. Okay, like that maybe push them a little bit closer together so i just want to gauge where i need to put some glue looks like i'll need to put some right here a little bit over here too close to the bottom without me going outside of that just like right here and it's okay if some of these stand up off of the paper it's okay i think it just adds a little bit more to it and let's get that other one let's just see where it looks good and if you want at this point you can take some um, mounting tape and you could mount it if you want so that's just another thing that you can do so you just have to kind of look and see where you want to mount that it's like right about here would be good off to the side so this is how I do it, just to gauge where the mount, mounting tape should go. Right off here, let's see. Right about here. Yep, that would work. Maybe a little teeny weeny piece. <laughs> right around here just showing y'all because there may be someone that's not sure how to put these on and it's only because you know we don't want it to come like in here like our mounting tape wise it will stick to the inner part okay i'm going to just put a little bit of glue on here just because Okay, so we're going to put it right here. It's going to overlap just a little bit on the other plant. It just gives it a little bit more dimension. Okay, and then we're going to take this little piece right here. I thought this was a, a nice corrugated uh, paper. 
that I have in my stash. I have tons of it and I don't use it. And I thought, you know what? Those colors go perfect for this. So I just cut a little strip here just to add something else. And then we're going to put our sentiment right along there. Right on there. Now we can add our butterflies. I mean, there's so much you can do with this. Let's put the inside part in. I already glued this down on here. Double-sided paper, y'all. <laughs> Double-sided paper problems. Okay, so we're just going to put that right inside of here. We want to add something else in on there we can close that down look how those colors really go together and then I had so much fun tying in the colors of these butterflies right there looks good to me something like that right okay let's go ahead and put them on And I think the best cards are the ones that you don't spend a whole lot of time thinking and thinking about it. Just start gluing it down, see how it goes. It's okay. And I'm going to put the antenna on here for one of my crafty friends. You know who you are. <laughs> this, is, this is dedicated to you. Okay, let's go ahead and get my so the original the original butterfly actually has antenna on it so I those are too thin to be cutting out so you just draw them back on a V with two dots on it okay super simple And I already could see that the wheels are turning in your mind, the amount of things you can do with this. And let's go ahead and put some gems on here. Let's see what this looks like. These have been, have been in my stash, and I cannot believe that I haven't used these. These are so pretty. How cute is that? And you can put your gems on there. So let's go ahead and do that. Just like to do a little test run before I glue them all the way down, see what it looks like. Line that up a little bit better. And how pretty is that? You see, I don't like the whole butterfly. I like the butterfly looking as if it just land it on the fence like that and you can take like um wood grain paper and make your your fence out of i think that would look really really cute but this this white picket fence is absolutely adorable look at that okay you can add something else inside another plant see i think i have one in here if you want to put another plant on the inside, you can. I have a couple of them that I colored off to the side. So you can put something in there to give it a little bit of something. Just, just showing you what you can do. And let me show you the other two cards that I did. And how pretty they look. Look at that. Here's another one. Just different colors. Just look how just changing up the colors a little bit uh, changes everything. And this one I did put something on the inside. And this one as well. 
So you can really match them. You can get your, you can get your, I know y'all have a ton of strips of these little white card stock and make your fence. So this is super cute. Um, I hope you like this. I hope you're inspired by this and I can't wait for you to post your make in the, in our Facebook group for mindless crafting. So don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done already and I'll see you real soon. Bye.